And there so you are looking at a Rothko with you know, a rectangular edge shape, rectangular shape, different colors, and you perceive things in that, or no? I don't see. I don't. I, I don't see it as about something else. I, I, I see the painting. Right. I see the picture itself. That's that's. I see those rectangles and those colors, right. and I feel uh, engaged with them. I I feel uh, that there is a connection between them and me in scale and sensibility and in reference to uh, all sorts of things, but. What is interesting is that it, it seems to be having that effect on a large number of people. At the moment, there's a show at the Art Gallery of Ontario from <coughs> the collection of the Museum of Modern Art, and people are staying in the Rothko room and sitting there you know, for a half an hour, an hour. There are people who come to that exhibition and don't leave that room, and part of it is the you know, is the pace of w in which you absorb those paintings. That there's, you can see them cursory and you can have a context of aren't these attractive bright colors and I've, s I like that one and I don't like the others because they're not as bright. Yeah. And you know, and you go through the room and you go on to the next room. Or you can take your time and say I want to look at this particular painting for a while and just take my time. I'm not sure where I, I'm at with it, uh, but it's something that I'm engaged with that somehow relates to m my size, its size, this quantity of color, that feel. Uh, and what brought you in to start to collect them? Because in the 60s, the young well, man, you started to collect well, them. Well, if I could have collected Rembrandts, I would have collected Rembrandts, <laughs> you know, but they, right. th it's harder. And uh, uh, the other side of the scale is if you're dealing with living artists, you don't have to ask about provenance or whether they're by that hand, uh, which is interesting. But, but ultimately, you know, I was a part of the time that I lived in, and it was also what I could afford. You know, you c we, we, we have all sorts of strains, restraints on us, even in choosing the restaurant we're going to eat and din dinner at, or whether we're going to cook at home tonight. Um, so, the, you know, the, I picked what was the most engaging possibilities for me in, in a moment. And also I, I think that I'm an only child and uh, you know, it, a lot of p things are expected of you. And uh, some of us mature very slowly. <laughs> and uh, I, I think that uh, by going away from what my family did for a living and going off on my own in an area where they really couldn't be of much help to me. Uh, I had a chance to sort of sort things out for myself and to mature very slowly and I'm working on it still. But there you are with one parent who is a sculptress and there you are with another parent who is an incredible showman in his own right one, one, running a wonderful store. Did your mother talk to you about art? Did she say, David look at this, don't look at that, David look at this form? No, I think that my mother had uh, a great deal of enthusiasm and picked out the things that interested her rather than criticizing things that, you know, or saying stay away from this or go to this. I think that you could see her respond in a really broad, you know, if you walk through a museum with her, she, she would respond to things you might not expect if you were being academic or if you were being dogmatic or if you were you know, if you had a, a very specific way of seeing. Uh, I think artists tend to be much more willing to accept wider ranges of ideas than often the public is willing to. The public, it was often said in the 70s when I was very active uh, that the public wants difficult art made easy. You want to know what a Rothko looks like, and then it's easy to accept it as a Rothko. But you know, Rothko didn't make all the Rothkos look like Rothkos. He made those pictures at the end of his life uh, divided in two parts, with a light and dark part, or a darker and lighter part, that you know that weren't what we knew as Rothkos in the mid '50s or early '50s, um, and it got much more radical than that with the next generation.